Hello guys, welcome to our channel. As we said in the last lecture, we're gonna talk about Qui. Qui uses the principle first in, first out. You can see where we have inserted an element into the Qui. We have to remove the element from the Qui and to create a new Qui. These are the old basic functions we can use for each programming language. We have to check the boolean if it is empty or not. We have to return the number of elements in the query with the in size and the parameters query, the star or multiplication or times q. Now we are going to observe a query using linked list. So the base idea is to create a linked list where the items will be added to one to end and deleted from the other ones. As we know, it uses the FIFA principle, first in, first out. And of course, the two pointers will be the front, which is the beginning of the list, and deletion of it, which is from the back side of it. Another point you know, to the end of the list, where we to insertion and then we have to check the structure of the linked list in Qui. You can see from the animation how it does. You see? Now the new element becomes the rear. Now we have to dequi. So it becomes the front one, okay? Here is an example using a linked list. As you can see, we have created some variables there. Integer with the val or value, whatever you want. I will strike Q nodes with the front and rear, as I said before. And to enquiet. As you can see on the three examples we have right here, where we have performed a while loop, if the Q1 is not equal to null or nothing, then we have to pull the element and to dequeue, we have to check with the while loop in the condition if Q is next to it, if the Q mingling is the next element. It's not equal to null, null, or nothing in the meaning. And the previous would be Q1. You can see the, the variable peak, where we have to put a while condition there. Where the Q1 is the next element of the Q1, it's not equal to null, then we go to the next element and return that value. But, of course, there are problems with arrays. The size of Qi depends on the number and order of the enquiry and the Qi. Sometimes, sometimes, whenever this may be a situation where memory is available, but enquiry is not possible there. As you can see from the animation how it got, happens, now it becomes the rear size. But with the enquiry, how it goes? Now it becomes a front size. Dequi. Of course, we use the secret array indexing. Don't forget, we start from zero. In the application of quiz, we have direct applications and indirect applications. From the direct size, we have waiting list. Access to shared resources, printer, faxes, computers where we can access with remote access, multiprogramming, etc. While in the early application, we have some auxiliary data structures, component about data structures, abstract data types, and others we're going to see. So, thanks for checking uh, the side of Qui. And later on, we're going to start implementing Python. Thank you.